I went out in my front yard the other day. There's this little bit of woods between my house and the road. And there were these limbs down everywhere and leaves had fallen. And if you look at it overall, it's mind boggling. It's like, oh my gosh, how am I ever gonna get that done? So here's what I did. I broke it up in quarters. Now I didn't physically go out there and map it off. But what I did do was, is I visually said, I'm going to stay in this quarter and I'm going to get all the limbs up, all the leaves, all the twigs, the debris, everything that was out there. And I'm going to keep focused right here. I'm going to niche down to this one quarter and I'm going to get it done. Once I get that done, and then I'm going to move to the next quarter. And then I'm going to move to the next quarter. And then I'm going to finish it up with the fourth quarter. Let me tell you something, when I went to bed that night, I had to take two aspirins. I was hurting so bad. I was exhausted. But when I got up there the next morning, I went out on my porch and sat and I looked, it was beautiful because I didn't try to tackle the whole thing at one time. I was able to accomplish that. I look at business the same way. You know, everything that we want to accomplish, it's mind boggling if you try to accomplish it in one setting. You can't do that. I've got 38 years of experience in business that says you won't be effective and you won't last long term if you tackle the projects with that big picture in mind, trying to get it all done immediately. So I want to encourage you, whatever it is, get the big picture, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Sit down, get the big picture, but break it down into quarters and tackle that one quarter until it's complete.